Today, I will introduce my master's thesis titled Type Safe Web Programming Using Rooted Multi-Party Session Types in TypeScript. This project addresses the limitations of incorporating session types in the development of interactive web applications. Developers can build interactive web applications with multiple roles or endpoints interacting with a web server over WebSocket connections. The goal is to make sure that all endpoints agree on and adhere to a structured communication pattern. This is also referred to as a global protocol. For example, we can have a flight booking service where the traveler interacts with the flight server through the web browser. The developer needs to make sure that both endpoints agree on how to perform a flight ticket query. This can be achieved using the Scribble toolchain. The developer uses Scribble to specify the global protocol as a sequence of send and receive actions. Scribble is based on multi-party session types, which is a typing discipline for concurrent processes. Scribble projects the global protocol onto each endpoint to obtain a local protocol for that endpoint, which describes the interactions of the global protocol from that endpoint perspective. And each local protocol can be represented by an endpoint finite state machine or EFSM. For example, the EFSM for the server describes the permitted send and receive actions for the server to carry out the flight booking service protocol. Session type web development uses the EFSM to generate APIs for the developer to implement their endpoint applications. Type safe implementations of the generated APIs guarantee that the endpoint application conforms to its local protocol. However, the current state of the art only supports functional languages such as PureScript. This deviates from mainstream web programming tools and practices, thus limiting their usability in industry. As they are also based on WebSocket transport, they cannot support peer-to-peer -peer interactions, thus also limiting the range of communication protocols they can express. My contributions in this thesis directly addresses the limitations. To address the first limitation, I developed Session TS, which is a session type API generation toolchain that targets standard industrial strength technologies such as TypeScript, Node, and React. As for the second limitation, I formalize rooted sessions, which is a new theory of multi-party session types with rooted communication, and use it to prove that it is possible to implement peer-to-peer -peer interactions over a server-centric WebSocket network topology. Let us first focus on session TS. The code generation workflow is composed of three main phases which we will go through in the context of our flight booking service. First, the developer provides the flight booking service global protocol and specifies which endpoint to generate code for, for example, the server. The Scribble toolchain projects the global protocol onto the server endpoint to obtain the EFSM. Session TS parses the state machine into an internal representation. Second, the developer specifies the target platform to generate code for, specifically whether the endpoint will run on a Node.js backend or the web browser. We specify that the flight server will run on node. Session TS encodes the EFSM accordingly and generates a set of TypeScript APIs and a runtime designed to execute the EFSM on node. Finally, the developer implements the endpoint application using the generated APIs. Here, the developer specifies how to handle flight quotes submitted by the traveler and what responses to send. Upon type checking, the TypeScript compiler generates a JavaScript application guaranteed to conform to the EFSM. The developer performs the same steps to implement the Traveler front-end application and obtains an implementation of the flight booking service protocol that is guaranteed to be free from deadlocks and communication mismatches. The goal is to encode the EFSM for front-end and back-end web applications. The design philosophy is to generate a session runtime to execute the EFSM. The runtime keeps track of the current state, performs the IO action for that state, and transitions to the successor state based on the action performed. We generate APIs for the developer to inject business logic into the execution of the EFSM, specifically how to handle state transitions. State transitions represent channel resources and can only be used once. As the APIs are designed to respect the EFSM by construction, they are designed to make channel reuse impossible. 
This means that the developer can only customize what message to send and how to handle a receive, but cannot trigger these channel actions manually. The type signatures of the APIs match the expected payload types of each message to guarantee the absence of communication mismatches. By instantiating the session runtime with the implemented APIs, the session runtime performs the actual message passing between endpoints and guarantees to conform to the local protocol of this endpoint by construction. The generated APIs and runtime are different for Node and React targets, as each presents a different set of challenges. The implementation for React is particularly challenging because the generated APIs also need to guarantee that the user interactions respect the semantics of the EFSM. The generated APIs for both targets support modern web development idioms such as promises and async await. The runtime also provides scenes for error handling in the context of web-based systems such as session cancellation caused by premature disconnections. These inclusions maximize the compatibility of Session TS with modern web programming practices. Next, let's look at rooted sessions, the new theory introduced in our thesis. The goal is to support peer-to-peer -peer communication over a server-centric network structure implemented using WebSockets. We propose that it is possible to do so by using the WebSocket server to root all peer-to-peer -peer communication. We formalize the concept of rooted communication in multi-party session types through our new theory, rooted sessions. The formalism involves three steps. First, we define rooted sessions by extending the syntax and semantics of the canonical theory. We define new syntax for rooted communications in global and local types to distinguish it from the original direct communication. We extend the labeled transition system semantics for session types to support the new syntax, making sure that we do not over-serialize the communication. We achieve this by allowing reduction steps involving rooted communication to be performed first, provided that it does not violate the original ordering of messages. To justify the correctness of our extensions, we prove the soundness and completeness of our extended semantics on global and local types with respect to projection. Next, we define an encoding to express direct communication in terms of rooted sessions. This encoding is defined with respect to a router role. The intuition is that if the original communication did not go through the router role, the encoded type is a rooted communication through the router role. Finally, we proved that the encoding preserves semantics, namely that it does not over serialize the communication. With this result, we can encode any communication protocol involving peer to peer communication into rooted sessions. We can implement rooted sessions over WebSocket transports, and we have shown that the rooted communication encoding preserves semantics from the original communication. To conclude, this thesis addressed the challenges of guaranteeing communication safety in interactive web application development. Current solutions only support functional languages such as PureScript and the Lynx web programming language. The PureScript solution builds upon multi-party session type theory to provide communication safety guarantees. However, functional languages are not widely used in modern web programming, which limits the usability of current work. Also, the range of supported communication protocols are limited by the server-centric WebSocket topology implemented by current solutions. Through this thesis, we directly address these limitations. With Session TS, we implemented an API generation toolchain that provides the same levels of communication safety guarantees, but supports modern web programming tools and practices to increase its usability in industry. And through formalizing rooted sessions, we prove that peer-to-peer -peer communication can be rooted through the server in a way that preserves the semantics of the original communication which allows Session TS to support a wider range of communication protocols.